Hello guys, this is Moe Ban, a VTuber architect who made her own model without modeling knowledge or animation knowledge. In the beginning, when I started my channel, which is around a month ago, I had no knowledge of how to use Vroid at all, so learning from examples were really important, and I got a lot of examples from Booth. The Booth is a really helpful tool for you to create your own 3D model, and in this video, I'm going to show you a complete guide of how to find and download textures from Booth, how to find the free textures, understand the information before you buy materials from Booth, and uh, how to load different types of textures into Vroid model. This whole session should be divided into two parts. First, we're going to spend some time on booths, and then I'm going to teach you how to load each type of texture into your Vroid model. This video is about how to use booths and how to download from booths. Please watch until the end. Booth is one of the most popular online applications to purchase Vroid textures and V2 related apps. Many artists use Booth as their shop of choice to sell their creations. If you want to stream through a 3D avatar, you might also need to apply for a Pixiv account. A lot of face rig apps are also sold in Booth, so you need to have an account to download those face rig apps. For example, you might have to download VMagic Mirror or buy license for Lopet from Booth. I have introduced how to use VMagic Mirror in another video, and you can take a look. One thing I like about Booth is that it not only has a lot of choice for Vroid models, it's actually having different options for other stuff as well. For example, you can actually buy t-shirts, comics, but today we're just going to look at textures that's available in Booth for Vroid. And the other thing I like about Booth is that it not only has a lot of choice for textures, you can actually get a lot of free, good quality textures as well. And I'm already at their homepage. I will put this link in the description below. To start searching for textures, you might need to first of all, you can log in from here. To start searching for textures, you just simply need to write Vroid in search over here. Now there are 8,936 items that are available related to booths. And these clothes are also for free. You can click into it and see the detail of it. And if you want to search for more detailed things, you can still search for it over here. And instead of writing in English, you better go to Google Translate. As most of the sellers are Japanese, it's much easier to find textures when you translate what you need to Japanese and paste to search. Then you can find more materials. For example, if you want to get close and you just copy and paste over here, you need to keep the word Vroid before, otherwise it will provide you some other clothes because it Boost is not only selling the Vroid textures. So you need to add Vroid plus the keyword that you want to search. If you want to find free textures only, there are two ways. The first way is really simple. You just go over here to the max price and pull this max price to zero. You can see that all of the materials that are having the price of zero Japanese yen are filtered in here. There are a lot of clothes and hairs and face expressions and things like that. This is the first way how you find the free textures. Now I'm going to show you the other way as well. If you look into some of the materials that are having price here, even though it is marked that it costs 100 Japanese yen, it's still marked as free. If you use Chrome, you can right click and translate to English. Then you can see it's a free distribution, trial and available also means that there's a free version of this cloth that you can download. And this one is also written as free version available. You can look for keywords either it's zero Japanese yen, either free, either try on. They are all providing the free download, even if you see an item with price on it. You can basically just click into item and see if it has a free version for you to try on. So after you find a texture that you want to add to your model, before you download the texture and start using, I would highly recommend you to check the usage rule of this item first because sometimes they are giving some restriction for commercial use and sometimes they are providing the guideline of how to set up the shoulder size and how to set up the color in the description over here. So I would recommend you to check it before you download and use it. You can use Google Chrome to translate to English. The redistribution is prohibited. So if you download it, uh, feel free to use it for personal use or modify or publish it for free. Read through the description to understand the rules of how to use it. You can download it. 
Uh, what you need to do to download a free texture is really easy. You just need to come here to the free download and just click download. And soon it will start downloading by itself. If you need to buy some textures, you need to add to cart first, link your PayPal or your card to it, and then you need to do the checkout. And after checkout, this will show after you make the purchase. You can download from here. So if your computer is having English system, the Japanese word will not show correctly over here. So you might need to rename it yourself. So that's basically it. All you need to do is to load different types of textures into Vroid. And I will leave this part to the next video where I will talk about how to load every texture into Vroid. That video will include how to load the whole model, how to load hair presets and clothes and everything. So please subscribe and turn on notification. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.